Hi everyone, it's Drew here at Drew's First Idiocracy. How are you all doing? Uh, I just want to forewarn you, my two nephews that are visiting from California are playing in a pool. So if you hear any kids screaming or drowning or um, yelling, that's what's going on. So anyways, I have some news. I have happy mail. Woo! This is from Kelly Erickson, a.k.a. Holly and Mistletoe. So she had said that she sent something. So I, I've been checking my mailbox so I can get that one closed off. Um, and so let's open it up and see what's in here. Oop. Okay, this is really hard. Maybe if I open it up all the way. Oh! Make sure I got it all out. Okay. Oh, no, the card flew away. All right. No, I'll open it up first. Oh! Awesome! It's a little keychain with uh, rainbow shit on it. Oh, let me flip it around so you can see the rainbow. Oh, thank you. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Did you did you hand make these? These look handmade. Oh, sorry. Let me see what the card says. I guess I should look at that first before asking questions. Oh, dang it, stuff keeps blowing away. Ooh, full Brittany. All right, says Drew. I just wanted to send you a little token of appreciation for your raw and honest videos. I'm proud of your hard, all right. Oh, I'm proud of how hard you're working to take care of yourself. Enjoy Kelly, a.k.a. Holly and Mistletoe. Aw, thank you. I'm going to put it on my keychain as soon as I get inside. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. I was going to say, I was like, I already lost it. Um, so I'm in a little bit of a crisis mode right now. Um, one of my friends from treatment has relapsed. And um, I've been worried about him for many, many days just because he doesn't respond to texts. And he's going through a lot. And so I was... There was nothing I could do, but just, I feel bad. Like, I wish there was something I could do. So his parents are sending him back to treatment. And so I'm going to be moving there, and I won't get to see him for the first 34 days that I'm there. So that sucks. Um, but I just, I don't know. It makes me sad. I, this makes the fourth friend of mine that has gone back out. Um, and two are from here, two are from Louisville, and, um, like, now I know what my family feels like whenever I'm out using and drinking. Um, it's just, it's this feeling of helplessness. Like, you want to do something, but there's nothing you can do. Like, just like I'm powerless over my drug and alcohol addiction, I'm powerless over other people. And it's just hard to see and hear of people struggling. Um, I talked to one of them earlier today and he sounded okay. So it, unless he was drunk and hit it well, or maybe he got drunk after we talked, but I just, I hate seeing people suffer and it's hard for me to sit by and see a friend's hurt and ache and do things that only make things worse for them. You know, and that's coming from a point of view of someone who has done that. So I know what they're going through and it sucks. Like it just plain old sucks. You mess up one time. So you think, why not keep going? You know, like I've already messed up and I just, ugh. I'm scared for all of them. 
Um, yeah, I'm just scared for them. One, Moans even respond back. Two, respond back pretty well. And the, the, the other one, I'm talking to his dad right now. He told him that he's going. Told me that he's going back to treatment. So it's just, I don't know what to say to any of them. You know, I say I love them. I say I'm thinking about them. You know, um, I didn't say hey Siri. Sorry. Um. <sighs> Give me just one second. I need to answer this. Were you splashing them? Ah! All my stuff flew away. Be nice to him. Well, don't splash him back. The only way you get him to stop splashing you is to stop splashing him. My nephews are fighting. <laughs> Sorry. All right, sorry. Uh, that was a friend who needs to be in the know about the, one of the people. Um, oh, I think I'm a little depressed. Um, this was somebody who I almost asked to help me move, so we would have been SOL had I had it worked out that that he was the one who got asked. But who knows? Maybe it would have made him not go out and drink, but I'm just heartbroken. I think that's really what it is. I feel bad for him and his family because it's just hard. Like he lost his job recently. He's just spiraling. Hmm. All right. Well, enough of me being depressed on camera. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I might make another video tonight or do a live or something. Um, I just, yeah, been dealing with a lot lately. So, alrighty. Please like, share, and subscribe. And um, remember, I do a giveaway when I get to every 100 levels. So, I, I think I'm like, 11 subscriptions away from um, doing or from 300. So if you guys can do your best to share my videos and um, tell your friends and everything, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, and, th and then I'll do that, that next giveaway. Um, and that will be another one that lasts a month long. So we don't have to worry about my shipping taking forever. Um, I'll have a job. I, I think I might have a job lined up actually. So, woo, woo, woo. Uh, anyways, talk to you guys later. Bye.